good old times here, right? All right, this is, I don't know what this is, pine. Looks like pine, right? This is going to be a wide faded two-tone. It says super faded aged wide fade two-tone. Flash coat. See that FC flash coat. Uh, FC flash coat. I'll talk about that later. So this guitar has already been sealed and then grain fill and then sealed a little bit more and then sanded smooth so it's good now I'm going to do what I do this is a yellow shade transparent yellow this is nitrocellulose lacquer there's no poly involved in this anywhere at all never ever ever Okay. yellow shade on the front and on the back this is the gun I use for that it's a small Devilbus SRI Pro I don't care for it okay now what I'll do is put clear lacquer on it it's 50-50 lacquer thin down guess what this is an air gun this is an Italian gun I use this for lacquer at all times so I don't put it on heavy when I do this, just sort of a buffer coat. Okay, most of that's going to evaporate, it's so thin. So there you go. Then, normally I would wait, put it aside somewhere, and then uh, do the burst and stuff later. But because I'm making this video, I will uh, do it now. I gotta talk louder, you know. I forget that I, the audio is a continual issue. My gun is leaking. Look, my little uh, bushing thing right there. I'm looking in my. I got a tool for that somewhere. It's in my. It's in my toolbox. Oh, well, you know what? I'll fight that fight later. In the meantime, I'll just get some paint here on the sides. This is a, an, another Devilbus gun. This one's really old. All these guns are old, except for the Iwatas I have. Okay, this is also a Devilbus. Um, I use this gun for the burst. It's just real easy to have the same color in here and don't have to do a bunch of changing of colors, you know? This has a small tip on it, like a 0.8, or maybe it's a 0.9, maybe it's even a 1, I don't know what it is. I don't find that very important, really. You could do this same thing I'm doing here with a larger gun and a bigger tip. Wouldn't matter. You might have to be a little bit more conscious of where all your overspray is going, because it's going to be spitting out a little bit more material. But you could, uh, you could dial that back. Okay, got the one side done, now I'll do this one. Aiming right on that crest, but mostly on the side. I'm trying to hit the side, not the face. So all my overspray shoots off the end into the waterfall. The waterfall. captures the overspray. When it hits that water, the overspray does, and gets trapped and just uh, falls down into the tank.
and it sits there. There we go with that. Yeah, that uh, that's a tank right there. That that bunch of water. That's a sealed tank. There are pipes underneath that water that, when it's all drained out, you can see. Um, but if I was to grab a shovel and stick it in there, and at the bottom I could scoop up. Uh, a bunch of sludge, which is just all this overspray that, you know, gets caught, goes down, and just sinks. Better than paper filters. I don't know if it's better, but, you know, paper filters get clogged up. you got to change them every, you know, depending on how much you spray. you got to change them a lot because they, they get clogged up with overspray. And then the whole, the booth doesn't draw as well if they're clogged up. No airflow. Okay, so there you go. I've got the sides done. Now this was a super, what was it? Super faded aged, wide fade two-tone. A little redundant there, but okay. On super faded aged, wide um, two-tones, you just go with a normal burst. You start with a normal burst. Like that. See, this is like one finger's width. Right there. One finger. And that would be about a normal burst. They'll do this side. Are you drinking your coffee? Or are you on your exercise bike? Or are you sitting on your couch? What are you doing? You know, I don't get any internet service in here in the spray booth. So I have to record these, like, with my phone. And then later on, you know, I'll edit them. Because before and after the words, you know, I'll drop the phone or spill paint or do something. <laughs> and I'll edit that out. All right, so look, there goes your burst on your face and your back. Okay. Now, this is a super faded age, super wide faded age something so what you do now okay is you go back over that same burst a little farther away with your spray gun than you did the first time well, that's how I do it anyway and you make the burst wider the solid part of the burst like you know it's opaque you can't see through it a little bit wider but you're also softening the edge of that burst towards the center then you soften it even more. Make it wider, but each time you go around, you let a little bit of more pressure off your trigger. So it's just kind of got that dirty fade to it. You know, maybe some people don't care for it, but you know, that's the order. Somebody wanted this, I ordered it. Wide, wide refers to the opaque part. Okay, so that's a wider, the opaque part's wider than normal. But then the fade is this dirty sort of edge that fades in towards the middle. Okay. So if you go over to burst, make it just a little bit wider, at the same time softening that burst edge. Okay. Okay, there's the wide part. Now it's wider than it should a normal one. Now I'll fade in towards the center the burst. The faded soft edge of a burst. This one said super faded edge. So that means, you know, they want it to be super. Super faded. <laughs> what? I don't mean super like, wow, that looks cool, but meaning just more than normal.
super. That kind of super. Oh, great. Kind of paint. Maybe I can eat it out here. Okay. Yeah. That's it. How do you like that? <laughs>